Okay, so this is the Devo 7e, Devo 7e transmitter, and let's see how to connect this one to the computer so that we can uh, run a quadcopter simulator. First of all, here on the back we have this mono audio cable. Plug this mono audio cable into that connector, and the other end has to be connected to the computer's audio card. So here on the front of the computer I have one output, the green one, that's for the headset and one pink connector, that's the pink one, that's the input and that's for the microphone. So the other end of the mono audio cable which comes from the transmitter has to be connected here into the microphone input of the sound card. Okay and here on the computer I will use FPV Freerider, that's the program, the quadcopter simulator and there's the download link and Smart Propo Plus, that one will make the connection between the transmitter and the computer. Okay, so let's go to this link, you can just google it. Let's open up a browser and paste in the address, enter. Okay, so this is FPV Freerider. That's the quadcopter simulator and here we have download the demo version, Freerider 28 megabytes. that's for the Windows version and click download. Let's save it onto, save as, onto the desktop, save. Okay and let's go to the other one, Smart Propo Plus, that's the download link. Let's paste it here into the browser and go. Okay, so that one was downloaded. Let's start this one. Download Smart Purple Plus. Okay, let's save this one also. Save as onto the desktop and save has been completed. Okay, we can close the browsers. So let's unpack the first one. Free ride. Let's create a folder with the same name. Rename. Copy that file name. New and folder and paste in that name okay and let's extract this one into the folder that is done so that's the demo version of fpv freerider the quadcopter simulator and smart Propo plus let's install this one next 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 create a desktop icon next install this one is finished also Okay, run the console exe, click finish. Transmitter disconnected, it says. Okay, now let's turn on the transmitter. Okay, press this button in the middle. So it says throttle sticks. Move down this one. Okay, now this one says it's fully operational already. Okay, now let's take a look. So here in the tray we have this icon, Smart Propo Plus, feeding joystick thing, okay, let's double click on it. And here we have the transmitter, let's go here and if I move this one up and down, then those are already moving. Okay, if I move the other one all around, then those are moving, first two. Okay, let's start with another thing. If you go here to the speaker, right click on the speaker and go to recording devices. This is Windows 8.1. Okay, and here let's go to recording and that's the microphone. And you can see that it's already at full level, like somebody would make some great noise. Okay, so let's double click on that one, on this one. Then let's go to levels and Let's take a look here. So now currently it's somewhere around the middle, but if I go to zero, then it says transmitter disconnected. So make sure this one is at least on one. And now it says fully operational. If it's on a higher level, notice that this noise thing is higher. And if it's too high, then Notice that these things are not working too well. So keep this one somewhere in the middle. Okay, so when it's on zero, this one is on zero. Then you can move anything 
and nothing will happen here so let's click this one somewhere there okay and now if i move any of these sticks you see some movement okay so make sure this one is somewhere in the middle close it now we can try this one free rider xe let's see that's the demo version run it made with unity okay and let's go here to calibrate controller and it says center all sticks so make sure it's in the middle so if i'm moving this one then those are moving already and if it's not working well then let's exit from here let's take a look at something else also so in windows 8.1 right click on the start menu and go to control panel and here in control panel let's search for game type in game okay and let's go to this one game controllers usb game controller and here we should have a vjoy device and let's double click on that one and if it's working fine then if i move this one for example then you should have those things moving i'm moving it up and down now i'm moving it left right the left joystick now the other one let's move it up and down that's up and down and that's left to right okay we can go here to settings and calibrate also next it says move the handle in complete circles then press a button okay so let's move let's say this one and uh, it's not doing anything let's try the other one now it is moving in any direction so this one the first one is for the right joystick click next leave handles in the center and then press a button on the controller so let's put this one into the center also okay let's press next uh, the z axis move the z axis all the way up and down and that's the left one and you can see it's moving okay next move the x rotation all the way up and down that is the left joystick left to right okay click next move the y rotation all the way up and down this one is not doing anything so let's try the other one that one is not doing also anything okay let's try this one and that one is doing something so it's this switch okay next move the z rotation all the way up and down and that's this one up and down this one is not doing anything so it's this one up and down as you can see next move the slider all the way up and down which slider nothing 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 okay next move the dial up all the way nothing is happening with the devo 7e and click finish okay so this is calibrated let's get back to this one fpv freerider run it and let's calibrate the controller so it's on usb controller touch screen control keyboard usb controller okay let's click, click on calibrate center all axis so this one is in the center that one is spring loaded so it's already in the center and then click okay it's okay hold your left hand stick to the left while clicking okay and so i will hold this one to the left it should move there and then i will click okay so hold it to the left and meanwhile click ok okay now it says yaw here now hold your left hand stick up and click ok so it's up and i'm clicking ok okay that's the throttle hold your right hand stick to the left while clicking ok so it's this one to the left and ok so that's the roll 
and hold your right hand stick up while clicking OK. So this one up, click OK. Now it said done. Okay, so while I'm moving this one, that one should move. And if I'm moving this one, the other one should move. Okay, and you can adjust these things if they are not exactly in the center by these. Oh, stop moving. So the trim is moving it and the other trim. Come on, what's wrong with you? Okay, so trim here and trim there. Okay, something like that. Click OK. And we have the desert thing here in the demo version. Loading and here's the head headset. And you can see, oops, so I'm moving it up. And okay, it's already uh, reset. So I'm moving this one up and it should go up. That's all it there. I can't fly a quadcopter, not yet. I'm a total beginner in this thing. And by going to the left, like so, it should rotate. Okay, come on, up, up in the air. So it's rotating to the left or to the right. Come on down. Okay, and this one, if it's in the air, let's get higher a little bit. Something like that. Uh, Self-leveling is on right now. And if I press up, then this one should go folder ahead. This one is by moving it down. Okay, to reset it. Okay, just learn to fly your quadcopter. And thanks for watching. That's, that was the Devo 7E connected to this quadcopter simulator on the PC. Thanks for watching and bye bye.